Hey guys, DC here, and this is my review on What the Golf for Apple Arcade on Apple TV. Alright, so we are thrown into a tutorial here, and it is showing the Apple Siri remote to the side, but I am using uh, the Nimbus, so it's actually giving us both right now, the Nimbus controls and the Siri remote controls. So the left stick is the way that we can power up our swing and aim. Now, based on the trailers of this game, I know it's it's not your typical golf game, and you guys have seen me review um, Clap Hands Golf not too long ago. This is not that, you know, this is definitely way more on the cartoony random side as I'm, you know, trying to get through this uh, tutorial. I think those are cats there around dynamite or explosives. So this game's pretty random. Again, there's no, there's not a golfer there. There's not a, a club. You know, you just have control of the ball. And you'll see here, there's there's multiple things that you try to get sort of like, uh, you know, in the tee. You know, speaking of random things, now it's just the club itself. So th this game is is really random. So be prepared for that. So it's it's not really a golf game. That this game r reminds me a lot of Cricket Through the Ages. Now, if you see my review or played Cricket Through the Ages, you know that you know that, that game is not uh, you know it's it's not cricket. It's not really based on cricket. So that's the same way that uh, this game is. And I, and I think it may be the same developer. There there has to be some sort of overlap with the developers or designers of both of these. Now look at that, so he winds up the swing and now he's the one that's moving. Okay, see, that's it's just crazy. And I'm still getting my kind of my control on how, you know, uh, how much power to put behind these swings. So now we're playing with an actual, like, barn house. And we're up on a hill. So yeah, you, you're given these random things and you know, this is not about being, you know, being on par or anything like that. It doesn't track you in that way. Home in one. And now you can see here the T is moving. So this tutorial here is just getting us prepared. See, that was like a little miniature golf sort of feel. Okay, now we're through the tutorial here for what the golf. Okay, now we're in the lab. We have a computer here. Just kind of looking around. We're being prompted where to go. So that's one thing with this game. To get around, to make your choices, you have to hit the ball <laughs> wherever you want to go, pretty much. So that's one cool thing. It kind of keeps you in the game constantly. Even when you're navigating, you know, like through the menu or what you're navigating just the regular board stage, you're you're always kind of within the game more or less. So now this is part of the actual T, that's the actual hole. Wholesome joke, experiment 422. So yeah, now we're on to the next sort of area within the lab, and again you're always in the game. Now we're using the cats as this concession stand kind of spits out hot dogs. Little pun there, perfect putt.
all right now we have a group of t's and again it just it just gets you know wonkier and wonkier here i don't even know which one is you know mine or not t's but clubs And that was cool there. I, I hit that plant and a leaf fell off. That looked really good. So again, the 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 the, the, the dynamics and the kind of the physics within this game are, are pretty good. It's, it's cool. Um, I don't know exactly how accurate they they are, but uh, it's it's pretty cool the way that the the ball moves and kind of whenever you hit anything, how it tumbles. So you, you'll see here in a little bit. There's different kinds of balls that we get. See, there's like a Spider-Man type ball. Spider ball. Did that on my first try there. Cliffhanger, which is a great movie by the way. Uh, Cliffhanger is um you know an older movie with Sylvester Stallone and uh <laughs> you know uh I think it's one of his slept on movies it's, it's not brought up as much as it should be sometimes so now we have like a blubber flubber ball here So yeah, this this game is uh, I don't know if I even want to put it into like a sports category since it's so out there. It's a very casual game. This game also reminds me a little bit of just the way the graphics are. I said earlier, Cricket Through the Ages. I see a little bit of like a um, uh, Sasquatch. I can't think of the name of the game, but the you know that sleeping. Not the sleeping Sasquatch, but kind of that, that sneaky Sasquatch on the up arcade. It kind of reminds me of that a little bit, kind of with the animations and everything. Alright, so we're getting through this one stage of the lab. 100 strokes, notification, and game center. Alright, so I'm being transported here back to more or less the lobby area of this section of the lab. Access denied, I need to go through the other section probably. Now we have a full couch here that we're playing with. And again, it, it just gets crazier and crazier. office chair the desk is blocking us and this is cool though, sort of the physics on this how this thing rolls uh, cherry out so that one was pretty pretty cool not bad and we have the TV with a VCR connected to it or a cable box cable box whatever you want to call it but I like how that thing is getting pulled. I mean, the, gr the graphics in this game aren't um, crazy, but a lot of the physics and the way that the environment uh, interacts with one another is is, is really uh, it's, it's really up there. So that's, that's one thing you can say about this game. A lot of the, the gameplay physics here are pretty spot on. Okay, I think I 
went into the wrong I went to the wrong uh, room again. I already did this board, but I'm just gonna do it again. But yeah, look how the flowers fall out of the vase there. Just, just real cool there. All right, so I need to make sure I don't go back in the same room. I have two options here. Now, look at this, everything's in the way, so. That's cool how, how you have to hit things out of the way to get to the uh, the hole sometimes. Now look at that, this is the actual par power meter. And we have the confetti kind of spill, spill out there too. And look at that, every piece of, you know, every pixel, or every piece of, you know, item is really kind of interactive there. So you see the confetti spill out, you can push that around, all the golf balls, you know, have almost their own sort of, uh, you know, have their own interaction with the environment. All right, so we are coming up on the computer, and he's looking like maybe a boss here or something like that. So let's see if we can get past him. Simple enough. And yeah, this, uh, that thing is moving. The ball's curving here on me. But, uh, yeah. This is what the golf. Now, if you're looking for your standard golf game, you're not going to get it. This is just something a little bit more, I, I would say, casual. Again, maybe younger gamers. Maybe more of a family game. I would say check this out if you want something really out of the box, really different. I put this in the same lane as Cricket Through the Ages. If you enjoyed this review, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, you can't win if you don't play.